Hey gang, here we are again. This is another Back to Health episode, and today is going to be short. It's going to be powerful, and you're going to want to pull your shorts up and your underwear up a little bit because this one's going to be intense. So, what are we going to go over? Man, what are the effects of minor spinal injuries, and how does that affect our health? And get this one, even lifespan. Isn't that amazing? So, hey, great to see you guys. Thanks for joining today. Hello, hello, Katie. So here, here we're going to go through this. Now, the normal curve in the neck, the normal lordotic curve, should be bent forward like that. That curve has strength. It's meant to withstand trauma. When you have trauma and that has strength, the structure is strong, then the trauma that you go through distributes through the curve. Why does it do that? Because the spine houses the spinal cord. That's very important. It's a very important part of your body because it carries energy from the brain through the spine that's why it's protected by the spine that's why the spine needs a strong structure and then it goes out all the nerves and that's what health is because health is energy energy is in your nervous system that energy in the nervous system has to get out into the body or you die right now see see we cut open cadavers in chiropractic school and guess what they all had a spinal cord they all had a nerve but what didn't they have? They didn't have life force energy healing their body. That's why they're dead. And so now, when you traumatize the spine, especially enough trauma to change that curve, now you have a problem. Because when you injure the spine, you actually can injure the spinal cord. Isn't that fascinating? So how fast can that happen? Well, that can happen very fast. can happen in an instant. can happen in a slip and fall. can happen in a fender bender. We saw that happen uh, with my wife, Molly, and her daughter, Aurora. We saw that little, they got uh, rear-ended. Not very hard. little dent, little dent in the uh, back tailgate. But by a big car, that force goes all the way through the frame, both of them. Headaches, neck pain, back pain. Man, it was like... It wasn't even that bad of an accident. Now you look where there's more damage of the car or that force translates through the frame. Boom. How about skiing? How about any athletic injuries? How about just sitting here on your phone after, uh, you know, all these hours? So these are all minor traumas. And the problem is it's the minor ones that we shake it off that we don't pay attention to. So let's see what happens with minor traumas. By the way, the curve, hey Damien, can change that fast, that fast. See you CBP docs? Man, you gotta know, if a patient leaves and doesn't come back for a couple months, what are you gonna do, just adjust them and think they have the same structure? No, gravity and time win, that thing doesn't stay there. You know, when you're looking at an x-ray, it's like, here's an analogy, Michael Jordan jumping from the top of the key, Sports Illustrated photographer, ah, Catches him with his tongue out at the peak of his jump. Now, after the pictures, he's staying there forever. Like, you can go five years later and Michael Jordan's still in the air. No, it's a flash. And in nanosecond, he's in motion. It's the same thing with an x-ray with your spine. Your spine is in the process of collapsing into this posture because the structure is weak. Because you had a trauma you didn't think about. And the spinal cord is stretching and you're wondering why my lungs don't work. Where did I get blood pressure problems? Why do I have allergies now? Why does my energy suck? Because time and gravity always win. They are a constant. It does not change. And any time you have a weakened structure, it will always collapse. The spine in alignment tends to stay in alignment. The spine in out of alignment always collapses. Now, it's not about spine. It's about the spinal cord. That's the problem. So let's check this out. Subluxations, that's misalignments of the individual vertebrae or whole curves, especially those complicated by soft tissue injury. What's that? Oh, got a whiplash. Oh, I don't know. Got hit in the face with a volleyball because I'm on the volleyball team, you know. Whatever you're doing. Hey, I was just messing around in the sand, tripped over, banged my head on something, you know. I mean, it's just everyday life. I was watching movies on Netflix series all day on Saturday. And my head popped up on two pillows. That's a trauma you don't think about, right? Every 20 minutes, the ligaments are adapting and changing their curves. 
so especially complicated by soft tissue injury, accelerate, makes it go faster, right? Degeneration lead can lead to disability. What are you doing? Because the spinal cord's under tension, you're losing motor function of your body. The muscles are getting weaker. Coordination is diminishing. All of a sudden, you're like, God, oh, why am I losing my balance? Why are these things happening? Why am I getting clumsier? This is what happens. Why? Because the motor tracks and the balance, you're losing the balance reflexes in your spine, the mechanoreceptors. Right? Lead disability and are a known cause of morbidity. This is Spine Journal. You know, one of the top medical, medical research journals. So when, when these people, you know, I mean, how many patients have you taken care of? Well, I got an accident, went to the hospital, got my x-rays, they said I'm fine. You know, I just got a whiplash injury. And you get the x-ray, like, oh my God, man. There's intersegmental translations, the bones are slipping and sliding all over the place. Jeez, what is up with that? So anyway, known morbidity. Because when you traumatize the spinal cord, you traumatize the spine, you traumatize the spinal cord. What city are you based out of? Uh, Newport Beach. Thanks, buddy. Newport Beach, California. Hey, welcome. You can go to the beach here with us. So anyway, no cause of morbidity. Is that bad? Just wondering. Death? Is that a bad thing? Minor traumas can lead to a shortened lifespan. Fascinating. So now, once you have that instability, you'll get faster degeneration. So let's see if we can get this up here. Here's a, where is, where's my finger? Here's a normal curve in the neck, that arc right there. And that's when you lose curve. See the black line and the spine's behind the black line because it's straight. That's what happens with traumas. You lose the curve. That can happen in an instant with, with a trauma. Now look below. The one on the other side of my hand. See that normal curve? See the white thing? The spinal cord? Let's see if we can get this in the picture here. Spinal cord. Look! Nothing's touching the spinal cord. That's the way it should be. But look at the other one. has got that bend and kink in the spinal cord. Why? Because when you lose the curve, then all of a sudden there's pressure, compression on the spinal cord. That's a problem. Spinal cord is very sensitive. It carries nerve energy to your whole body. You want to protect the spinal cord. That, that is a good thing. How do you protect it? You have to have a strong spinal structure. Because when you that structure deviates, the structure weakens, you cause abnormal compression on the discs, the disc bulge, spinal cord goes into traction, can't conduct the same energy, the myelin sheath begin to degenerate, whatever is touching the spinal cord de demyelinates, destroys the myelin over time, which is the sheath around the spinal cord that conducts the electrical impulse. That's a problem, okay? That's why shorten lifespan. And if it's rubbing against the spinal canal because your spine is bent the wrong way and the spinal cord is rubbing against the bone, it creates a sclerotic callus. It's called sclerosis. Hence, multiple sclerosis. That a term, can be a terminal disease. What else? Uh, ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, right? So, so what's the deal with that? So those are, yeah, those are terminal diseases. So let's go, let's see, where are we? Uh, am I in the right chapter? Shit, I lost my, lost my spot. Let me, let me get this back a sec. Okay, so here we go. Here's an article from the Journal of Spinal Disorders and Technique. Maintaining normal cervical anatomy, the normal curve in the spine. You guys get in this chiropractors, you can use this. With its lordosis, meaning with that curve, in the, in the cervical region, uh, in the region of prominent movement, may optimize cord function. So the normal curve in the neck, the optimal lordotic, they call it lordotic curve, the C curve, 
optimizes cord function. Why? Because now the cord is away from the bony structure. Nothing's touching it. Uh, there's no traction stress like stretching a rubber band. There's no kinks. There's nothing happening. So what happens? Energy pours to there like a freaking waterfall. Act like fires. What's that going to bring you? Energy in my body. Oh my God, isn't that fascinating? Now I have a strong immune system. I have strong lungs. I have a strong heart. My body is oxygenating. Blood is circulating, right? Because it, it controls blood flow. So isn't that fascinating? Yeah. So here is shows the need for spinal correction. You know, and this is to chiropractic where they say, well, you know, here's the curve and it ain't meant it to be that way. Uh, no, they didn't. What happened was you probably lost the thoracic curve. It ain't cares that you can walk and kill stuff so you can survive. So if it needs it, you know, if a forward head posture or reverse cervical curve ends up being a compensation or a result from trauma, that doesn't mean you're going to live long. It means today you can eat, maybe not tomorrow. So that's just someone that doesn't understand spinal biomechanics. So anyway, this shows curves, optimal curves are important. Hey man, the principle works. So here's another thing. Let's look at this. Uh, worsening spinal deformity is associated with deteriorating lung function. Isn't that fascinating? Deteriorating lung function. Altered biomechanics in the cervical thoracic that's right at the base of your neck area, as well as changes in the muscle force, force length relationships are important factors that determine respiratory function. So when you lose the structure, you lose muscle force. They don't have the same leverage. They don't have the same contractile strength, right? So when you lose that muscle force relationship and you have an abnormal structure, all of it is causing problems in the spinal cord and in the nerves. Those nerves in the upper back go to the heart and lungs. So it is definitely related to lung problems, asthma. Now, when you, when you went to the uh, MD and they said asthma and they gave, you, they gave you a prescription for an inhaler, did they tell you, well, shoot, have you had any cervical trauma lately? Oh, yeah, man, I got rear-ended six months ago, and I'm, I'm just wondering why I'm starting to wheeze now. Well, you have asthma. Use this inhaler the rest of your life because we don't know shit about the spinal relationship and nerve flow. So since we don't know shit about that, just use this inhaler as opposed to maybe I ought to go to a chiropractor. Maybe this thing can be fixed. I don't ever believe I had an asthma person that didn't get better. So, I don't even remember one of those. Here's another one. Older persons with hyperkyphotic posture, what's that mean, bent forward, are more likely to have physical, functional difficulties. Isn't that amazing? Physical, functional difficulties. Uh, increased pain in cervical, lumbar, spine related, increased forward head posture. So, the more increased it is, uh, also is related to depression. Gee, man, I'm depressed. My head's forward. No wonder I'm depressed. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, leads to loss of motivation. Leads to muscle. So now, traction on the cord can cause uh, brain problems. It can cause cognitive problems. Cause mood problems. The uh, cervical arteries vertebral arteries go up through your neck when you lose the curve those ver uh, arteries go up through the bones of the neck and it's been shown that when you lose the curve it decreases the flow of the vertebral arteries up into your brain is that important reduce blood flow to your brain does your brain need good blood flow just curious so I would think we would want some of that uh, depression, motivation, muscle impairment. Yep, because you're going to be weaker. Balance. Your cere it's going to affect your cerebellum. And balance, gait, and lower disability scores. Man, isn't that amazing? Lower disability scores. What's that mean? You're literally losing your physical ability. God, 
That is freaking amazing, don't you think so? So anyway, there you go. That's the result of minor traumas. These are out of major medical journals. This is what, in the general public, your MD is not telling you. And if you go to chiropractors like the joint, people that don't take x-rays, you know, they don't do their homework, flat out, don't go. I wouldn't go there, but you get what you pay for. And I'm not saying they're good or bad. I'm just saying, don't let anybody touch your spine if they're not taking a look at it first. So, anyway, um, love you guys. You can go to Elite Coach and get a digital copy of Back to Health. Hey, I would, if I had anybody in a car accident, I would highlight these studies, get these books, highlight that study on day one and give it to them. Say, take, oh, sorry, wrong book, take this home and read it with your wife tonight before we go over the x-rays. You have a history of trauma. I'm seeing these. I'm seeing these organ problems. Here you have a physical weakness. And, uh, you know, if you do any muscle testing, use JTAC, any computerized muscle testing. Here you can objectively prove it, and you have the medical studies to back it. So they will come in on day two in a different tone. I guarantee it. I'm getting the book. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Clifton. Yeah, it's awesome, man. The, the, um, the doctors in Elite that are using this, that's what we're recommending, highlight the studies. And, uh, you know, there's studies that relate to practically every patient on there. Highlight them, give them on day one. So, all right, love you guys. Appreciate your purpose. Appreciate you being here. And we'll be back next week. Take care. Bye.